So this question is by default a diagram question because we have this diagram provided. So what I like to do is to take a look at the diagram, take a look at the picture provided before reading anything, just to get a sense of like what's going on here. It looks like I have a glass or a cup. It looks like I have a height that is K, um, a diameter for the opening at the top that is also K, and a diameter for the base of the cup, which is K divided by two, or basically half of the diameter up top or half of the height of the cup. And then I have this formula for volume that's been provided for me. So the information provided here says the glass pictured above can hold a maximum volume of 473 cubic centimeters. So that's very interesting. Um, because, and I'll just finish reading this, which is approximately 16 fluid ounces, because they gave me the formula for volume. So I've learned that on the SAT, anytime you're given a formula or you know the formula, this maybe maybe is provided on the first page of the test where you have your little note, your notes there that give you a cheat sheet of sorts of all the different formulas you may use on the test, um, or you just know it yourself, if you're given information or if you're given a quantitative or a quantity for that formula, the best thing to do is to relate them. So I'm going to say, hey, if the max volume is 473 cubic centimeters, that means that 7 pi k cubed over 48 can at maximum equal 473. And again, this is going to be cubic centimeters because it could also be the same exact formula, seven pi k cubed over 48 equals 16, but that's gonna be for fluid ounces. All right, so let's read the actual question. Number nine, what is the value of k in centimeters? So I'm not gonna be using this formula because that has ounces involved. Let me just get rid of that. But I will be using what I have here. And notice that the only variable, right, the only unknown is K. So I'm simply solving, right, so solve for K. So let's do that. I'm going to get rid of the units here because we're not going to need them because we're dealing with centimeters. All right, so first step is to multiply both sides here by 48. And this is the calculator section, so I can, you know, first of all, cross that on the left-hand side. I'm left with 7 pi k cubed. Then I'm going to go to my calculator and figure out, well, what is 473 times 48? And that would give me 22,704. Now, of course, I'm going to divide both sides by 7 pi. So let's, lay, let's say we take that and we divide by 7 pi. Divide. Okay, so what I'm getting is that k cubed equals 1,032. Uh, point, let's call it 4, 2. And because I just want the value of k, not k cubed, I am going to cube root, right? Because that cube root crosses out the cube there, leaving me with just a k. So I need to cube root this solution here. So let's do that. And what I'm getting is 10.11. And I see that value here, which is answer choice D.